Relax with bricks, with bricks, with bricks. Relax with bricks, with bricks. Relax. Alpha wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha wax. It's new build day, and uh, this is the set that you gave me for my birthday, so it feels extra special. Um, so we'll have a look at the box. So lovely exterior. Just having a look now. It looks like they've got lots of pillars, some specialist bits and bob. That looks like a sticker to me. Stickers, brick stickers. Um, and then, oh, look, a lovely interior. Oh, and we've got a moving part. Oh, we've got two moving parts. Oh, how tremendous. Um, let me see, that's a bit of reflection. Anyway, there's a moving part up there, isn't there? Oh, God. Oh, look, look. Someone's lying down here. What's going on here? Some sort of mechanism. Something also going on here that looks like some sort of wedding or something. Hmm. All right, lovely. Well, this looks absolutely tremendous. Uh, shall we open up the box? Oh no! Oh, there was a there was an earwig on it. Sorry, it's been sitting in here overnight. That's a large earwig. How dare it? How dare it be living in here? Anyway, right. I'll sort out the uh, the bags, but we'll open this up first. Oh, look at these lovely stickers. This is, of course, the hazard of living in the countryside where your Lego shed is, um, sorry, I'd like to go in for this, this moment. It is a solemn moment um, when you share your Lego shed with mice and all sorts. And Kenneth the fly, let's not forget him. I can't get over how much space I've got. Well, that's a tremendous sticker, isn't it? Yes, as I suspected, we've got lots of brick stickers. Bookcase stickers as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll put them over there on our Pandora, the purple plate of pleasure. Um, here we go. The book. Lovely. We've got six bags. Okay. Lovely. Right. Um, I will now uh, sort the bags out and start the knoll for bag one. Righty ho, uh, let us commence uh, with our minifigures. We start with uh, Madame Maxine. Hmm. Rather fabulous outfit. Uh, let's see, she's got a double face. Oh, she's got a worried face. Oh, I think we should have everyone looking serene. 
in this. Uh, that looks suspiciously like Dawn French's hair. Anyway, there you go. There's Madame Maxine. I'm, I'm not a great fan of these skirts. FYI. And uh, this is Victor Crumb. Uh, means business face. And uh, oh hi, let let's uh, let's go have some butterbeer's face. Yeah, come on. Oh oh, sorry, Victor Crumb. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Victor Crumb. Come on, Felicia. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Thank you. Brilliant burger. Right. Oh look, he's got he's got the hair that 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 I found unacceptable on the minifigure on the uh, roller coaster whose name I can't immediately remember. Was it Ian? No, it wasn't Ian, was it? Uh, anyway, there you go, Victor Crumb, and they must both have a wand each, and then we will start on the club business, of which there is an enormous amount today. You you all had a, a lot to say. About the roller coaster, and, and quite rightly so, to be honest. I mean, there was a lot going on, wasn't there? And it was an epic build. It was an epic build, wasn't it? Flipping heck. There we go. Madame Maxine. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Victor. Sorry. Sorry, Victor. And oh, Victor Crumb, thank you. Right. Uh, let's bring it down and bring it in and we'll get down to some club business so <clears throat> let's start with the googly eyes the google eyes of which there was quite a lot uh actually today so we start with of course uh, gary blair who was shouting turn the wheel like it tells you in the instructions mm. yes that, that took me quite a while to work that out eric oswald Oh, the chain breaking was very Charlie Brown moment. I got a rock. Mm. What a renaissance. A fair held my breath when you carried it into the house. Yes, a lot of you found that rather um, alarming for various reasons. I mean, I don't blame you. Imagine how I felt having to actually carry it. I mean, honestly. <laughs> my heart was in my mouth. And it didn't help that you were wearing wholly inappropriate footwear with many slippage qualities, had the potential for a canine intervention, and also had steps to negotiate. You don't make life easy for yourself, Emma. No, well, you wouldn't want it any other way. Come on. No, wrinkle on. I'm glad you liked my Lego line, my Lego land suggestion. That's the travel agent. In me. I'm telling you, we're going, gang. We are going. The, the minute it's all safe to do so, we are totally going to Legoland. 100%. 100%. I can't think of anything I'd rather do, quite frankly. Oh, hang on, hang on. I guess that's going on that way. So they're all like, yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, we need to go on a, I, I will say we need to go on a weekday. Uh, Lego land at the weekend forget about it and we must all get VIP passes we must splash out that's what we must do splashing out at the Lego land can you imagine how long we'll take in the Lego shop at the end I mean it's just it's, I'm almost embarrassed <laughs> um Gary Blair a thought occurred to me while little Sue was doing her counting have you seen the movie Sybil Mm, no, I haven't. I haven't. What's Gary Blair? You better not be sassing little Sue again. You've, you've. It, on, it, I will. I will wrestle you at dawn. I will see you, sir. I will see you. Please, please nominate your second. I will see you if you are sassing little Sue. I will see you. I will have satisfaction, sir. Nobody sasses little Sue. Not on my watch. Now. Now then. All right. Okay. Um, Wild Renaissance. Pure Kitford. Mm. Though I suspect misbehaving terribly on a fairground ride is right up his strasse. And I mean, has everyone forgot that he, during the opening ceremony, he was actually standing on the track? 
No, absolutely nobody made comment of that, did they? No, because everyone expects him to behave appallingly. Now, oh, I see. Now, I don't think we have had a little pyramid, but we haven't had a glass one. So let's give that a lovely. I think I'm going to have to build this quite slowly today. Mind you, there's so much club business that that may well take up a lot of time. Oh, this is fiddly. Oh, Christ. Go on, get, get in there, you naughty little piece. Get just sit. Oh. Some sometimes I, when they ask you to put it be between th this. Oh, this is this is horrible. <laughs> oh, this is horrid. Why won't you? It's definitely telling me to put it. They do go, but for some reason this, this, the slippage on this is horrible. Oh, for goodness sake, Kennedy. Oh, I thought I'd got it in then, and I blinking well hadn't. We're still on the Google Eyes. There's so much Google Eyes. I've actually got three pages of Google Eyes today. Uh, oh, no, it wants me to do it again. Uh, Noreen, it's midnight. I'm laughing my head off in bed. It's broken. I'm sorry, Emma. You just make me laugh. When the chain broke, then Kitford went flying. Jesus, this was better than what was on the TV tonight. Thanks. I had a great time on the coaster. And as usual, always smiling, even holding a rope. Well done, little Sue, officially opening the roller coaster. Well done, Emma. Uh, Gary Blair, Kitty Bert, this is your final destination. I told you you would want free and unfettered access. Would you listen? Would you buggery? Mm -hmm. I just swung it round. It made it more interesting, did it not? Everyone got a thrill, a sharp thrill. My daredevil actions. We go again, look. A bit better than last time. We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. A bit high today. It's Jimmy and B. A bit high today, that. Oh, no, really? This is now asking me to. Um, wow, we, whoa, who, way to go, Emma. Oh, dear, poor Kipper, eh? We, what fun. I wasn't expecting it to go that fast. The carrying it into the house was a nail by the ring. <laughs> Eric Oswald, I notice you edited out the first time. He's American. Maybe we should give him a... I noticed you edited out the first time you turned the, co the coaster around. I assume that was to spare our collective gasps while you did so. Yes, I think that's working for you, uh, Eric. I think I'm allowed to go straight to accent for you because I've known you for so long. Oh. The <laughs> this, is, this is horrid. Okay, let's start with the middle one and work out. Okay. I generally I I I don't I don't agree with the with the putting it be, between the bet, between the the the, the nips. I, I, I don't I don't hold with it. Um yes Eric, I do recall now. I di I did um I did stop filming, but I think I stopped filming mostly um, because I genuinely thought there was going to be a catastrophe and I wanted to spare you all but then I, I once I'd done it once I thought well to hell with it let's 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 just seize the day uh, right we now go to page three of the Google eyes we haven't even started on uh, Twitter business yet uh, no rain this is way too complicated for me I'm just going to stick to stuff that looks like houses or castles. 
I thought it would topple off the table. The way you spun it round half on half off the table. Shit balls, you brave. Oh, I'm sorry. You get a clap for shit balls. <laughs> you, get a, you get a clap for that. Uh, Gary Blair, do not stand up or wave a bloody great pointer. I know, that, that was that was bad, wasn't it? That that was a, that that genuinely was a little bit perilous. Um oh by the way, uh obviously yesterday uh the Patreon gooses uh will have seen that um there uh is a new Elb sack in this little bit shit up club uh up for the Patreon Gooses to enjoy uh, yesterday's painting was um, uh, Pink Lady, you'd be pleased to know. That will be winging its way to you today, Pink Lady, so you should get it within a matter of days. Um, what I've also done is I've, I've now made the, the, fir the very first one, John Parry, that is now up for public consumption, so if you're not a goose, you can now watch that. And uh, if you want to have your picture painted uh, in a little bit shit way uh, then uh, become a goose that's it that's how it works it's very simple um, right I cannot believe how many comments there are on this one right uh, Graham Triggs the puzzling instruction is telling you how to lift it yes I sort of worked that out Mr Graham Triggs who is the bar the official referee of Lux with Brooks um, have a guess how many times I shouted Turn the wheel at the top of the roller coaster as is indicated in the instructions when you were trying to thread the chain in. I imagine it was a lot. You're not the only person to have brought that up, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. I'll be completely honest with you. It's almost as if I'm slightly maddening. Um, it's almost as if <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have it any other way. Kath Pearson, such fun, she says. So, Joe Perry, I think I was quite within my rights to mention that set after what I'd just been through, but I respect the Vars' authority. Yes, we uh, remember, of course, that uh, John Perry mentioned the build that must not be named. And uh, I did ask for an adjudication. Um, and here it comes. Uh, so here we go. It's uh, an adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs, an adjudication. An adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs. Uh, you were well within your rights to reference the set, but you didn't have to do it by name. Count yourself lucky this time, as I couldn't bear to start the Harry Potter build with an apple whack in the Blair hole. Thank you, Mr. Graham Triggs. Thank you, Mr. Graham Triggs. Oof. You've, you've, you, you've got away with it there. You're very lucky yeah, that you've got Mr. Graham Triggs on a, on a, 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 on a beneficent day. Well, he's feeling generous. Uh, quite right, uh, John Perry says. He says, uh, no, it won't happen again. <laughs> Then of course uh, Kitford says, uh, "Come in, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take that statue of justice to him." <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Um, uh, Gary blesses. I call total wussery on the part of Perry. Big girl's blouse. A big girl's blouse. Uh, Joe Price, the golden goose, golden goose. She is a golden goose. She's so golden, she's so goosey. She's so goosey, she's the golden goose. She's the go uh, 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 golden goose. Joanne Price. Uh, says, I'd like to speak up on behalf of big girls' blouses. I think they are very strong and not at all wussy. Yes, correct. Correct, correct, Golden Goose, Joanne Price. Correct. You are entirely correct. Correct. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happening again. Oh, no. so bad was it no it wasn't stop moaning emma stop your moaning um 
then there's just a lot of toing and froing between Joe Price and, and Gary Blair with a lot of gifts that I'm not even going to get involved with. Just all Alan Partridge. Uh, Kitford Obert says, what kind of park are you running, Kennedy? With this picture of, ah, oh, Kitford, ah, oh, oh. oh, it makes me want to hug and kiss you. Oh, Kitford, I'm sorry. Graham Chick says, uh, you look so Kitford. Can I interest you in a compact facility with bed and ensuite? It's much safer. Oh, he boinged you. Good then. You got boinged. Um, there. Uh, oh, fin finally something's going on a going on a nipple. What do you call these? Studs, I suppose. Studs, rather than nips. Um, Kifford, I would like to request an adjudication. Oh no. Oh no, what's this? A request for an adjudication. Oh no. Uh, Emma's negligence when operating the roller coaster resulted in my injury. Criminal negligence, surely. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh no. Sadly, I agree. You could have lost your head. I'm afraid it's a night in the Blair Hole for Kennedy. <gasps> oh, well, all right. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, Joanne Price. Uh, bring forth the Blair Hole. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Uh, where am I? I'm over there. Uh, come forth, Emma Kennedy. Come forth, the mini, the, the mini figure uh, known as Emma Kennedy. Come forth. Oops, sorry. By the way, uh, Gooses, you've got enamel badges of this coming. Um, that is the last element we're waiting for uh, for the membership packs. And the membership packs are going out. I've got everything else. We've got the wallets. Uh, we've got the membership cards. We've got uh, the, the goose badges. We're just waiting now for the enamel badge. And then they're all going to come out. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. I'm going to um, uh, draw an individual little um, picture of your minifig. Because all gooses have got minifigs. Or pretty much all of them. And if you want one, then you can just ask for one. And I'll put, I'll put one in with you. Um, ah! But, oh no, Pink Lady, sorry. Sorry, mild concussion for Pink Lady there. Um, right, I'm in. I'm in the Blair hole. Okay. Um, but yes, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little something. I'll put a little extra thing in the membership card when you get it. Don't say I don't look after you, gooses. I spoil your rotten, I do. Um, right. Well, you're worth it. You're worth it. You're the gooses. Um, ba -bum, bum, bum. Now, we're almost at the 20-minute mark, which means we'll have a half-time show. Well, I'm in the Blair Hole. Oh, look, Kitford O'Burk, the sweet taste of justice. I mean, fair enough. You got you were flung from a, a moving roller coaster. Fair enough. Uh, by the way, when I, when I brought it back in, um... Uh, after I'd carried it, I, I just tested it to have a little go on it. And uh, all of the, all all three of the roller coaster cars um, fell off. I mean, it, it was, it was, it was a proper, it was a, it was a proper tragedy that occurred. So I'm glad you didn't, you, you were spared seeing that because that would have been very alarming. Right, that's going now going now what's that there oh there we go you know how hard I, I can't really struggle with the brown bit um back to um business uh instagram tricks trixie uh professor lego and bevis musson as our testers anyone else scared uh, professor lego i hope i got the front seat uh, you didn't and trust me when you've watched it you'll be glad Katie Hall, uh, nobody argued with sending the boys first. No, quite right too, quite right. 
um, Gary Blair, totally couldn't love it more. Well done to you, you clever old stick. Well, I'm not that clever. I just followed the instructions, really. Unless you're talking about the half-time show. Uh, no, well, oh, no, no, sorry. I mean the, the opening ceremony. Uh, which was fun, I must say. I'm really enjoying doing those little stop frame animations. There might be one coming tomorrow. Just saying, just saying, just saying. There might be one coming tomorrow. Muscle Mug Strawberry, the Sensei, Beerus, the Matara, the Moaning Mini, the Lego Whisperer. The little track pieces do look like they're going to be horribly fiddly, but they're actually quite satisfying to clip together. Yes, I know, that's, that's why I, I kept it in. Actually, Little Sue does sound a little bit like Peggy Mitchell. It's just rudeness. Rude. Can she say, get art of my pub, to see how close her voice is? Um, mm. Uh, little Sue, uh, little Sue, come forth, please. Come forth. Come forth. Come on. Come forth, please. But let's have, let's have you all forth. Come forth. Uh, come forth. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, can you please say, uh, get out of my pub, please? Uh, <coughs> yes. <coughs> get out of my pub. Is that, is that all right? Uh, yeah. That'll do great. Yeah, thank, thanks, little thing. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Uh, can I? No, you can't say anything because you haven't got to you yet. Oh, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. If I'm here, you can talk to me. Yeah, no, I'll just come on, off you go. Go on, back you go, please. Back you go, little Sue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love having the little mini figures. <laughs> Properly love it. I'm 53. Anywho, um, Bevis Musson, I wouldn't argue with the assessment of how I'd have helped with the build yesterday. I mean, you would. You just would have stood there with your arms folded, tutting. Even I would have been impressed if you'd managed to keep doing club business while threading the track. So I don't think you need to apologise uh, for the temporary suspension of proceedings. It, it was a bit full on. I won't lie. Oh, look, a little flame. A little flame going on there. Well, they're clearly making some sort of... I mean, would you call that a fireplace? I'm not sure I would. Hmm, what would we call this? Over to you for that, please, uh, pink lady. This does, I mean, that's, that's not like any fireplace I've seen. That's some sort of votive flame. She'll tell us. Ooh, look. Crumbs. Do you remember windows? Uh, the background noise, uh, says Bevis, of squawking chickens, is not exactly helping with the relaxing element of today's video. I mean, I don't know how anyone... I, I don't really think anyone could call the last two videos relaxing on, on any level, do you? They, they were fraught with tension. Uh, please never, ever turn a set this side size around on the table again this was not relaxing viewing that first turn after the loading area still isn't quite right is it yeah i know but apart from that it's very good isn't it and i told you the battery pack and motor went out to worry about mm. he also says you're never going to hear the end of this from kit for dobert now I, I really uh, i really am not expecting to hear the end of it from kit for dobert oh no correct I mean, to f fair dues, fair dues. He was flung, flung unceremoniously from a roller, from a moving roller coaster. I think he's perfectly entitled to be furious, don't you? 
oh, we've gone over. We should be having the halftime show. Uh, okay, right, hang on. Yeah, it's time for the halftime show. It's a little bit over the halftime show. There we go. Thank goodness I remembered to do that. I do believe it's, it's pictures from you lot today. I do believe. Um, Bevis says, carrying that with the dogs running around was the very definition of living da dangerously. Well, that's me. Thank you. Thank you. I live dangerously. Thank you. Thank you, I do. If only I had a sound effect for living dangerously. Oh no. oh no, that wasn't the one to press, was it? That really wasn't the one to press uh, for living dangerously. Mm. Oh well. Oh well, what about that one? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Uh, John Perry, uh, I'm well up for an Ethelwack Lego Land trip. I mean, honestly, everybody is. Scrub down, scrub down. Uh, here comes Jackie Swan. Uh, she says, yes. Yes. Here's to the Ethelwax Go Large in Lego Land. Honest, it's going to happen. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is going to happen. Uh, we're going to Legoland, gang. We just need to work out when we can do it. We're going to Legoland. And we're all going to hang out all day at Legoland. Imagine that. Imagine it. Imagine it. Imagine it. I feel like it's like super mega thrilled even just thinking about it. It's so exciting. Can you imagine little Sue? Little Sue will not be allowed to speak in anything other than the, other than the voice she has been assigned. We'll just we'll just get that out immediately. <laughs> mm. Interesting colour scheme here. Of course, I might have got it wrong. I don't think I have got it wrong. No, I haven't got it wrong. Hmm. So this is great. Um, Gary Blair, some of us will be need to, to be zoomed in. This is for the uh, the trip to Legoland. Uh, who's going to be responsible for taking me on every ride? Well, the, I know there's going to be logistics. Ooh, I've just seen Rosie Lee has sent us some music for the Knoll. Oh, lovely. I'll, I'll use that today. Brilliant. Uh, thank you, Rosie Lee. Uh, don't, I haven't forgotten about the music you sent me for the roller coaster, by the way. Um, I'm going to use it for something else. Uh, Joe Price says, I did not enjoy the carrying. That was very tense. Thank goodness you didn't have to go too far into the house. Good planning. I thought for a second Gary Blair was chained to my foot or me to him. No, 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 no. Uh, little Sue, as she's called Little Sue. She's little as she's called Sue. She's little Sue. Hello, it's me, little Sue. Hello, little Sue. He hello, hello. Um, but before we get started, I don't notice I, I haven't seen Fingy uh, for a couple of days. No, it's it, it's fine. I'm I'm here. Oh, you look you look a bit different, Fingy. Oh, just different makeup. You look like you've been drawn on with a bio out there today rather than a sharpie. Um, but I don't don't really want to talk about it. Mm. Uh, anyway, how are you doing? You all right? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's, no, it's really, you know, yeah, things, things are, things are fine. It's nice that the weather's picked up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I totally agree, yeah. Anyway, uh, love to the family. Yeah, love to, love to the family, Fingy, yeah. Yeah, love to the family, love to the family. Um, it's a little Sue. Yay, 
Jo Price made it onto her very tall pedestal. Hope she doesn't mind heights. Yeah, that was your idea, little Sue, uh, putting her up there, by the way. That was entirely your idea. Um, it was a jolly good one it was too. I mean, obviously she's she's back now. The she's back now. Uh, uh, on her pedestal here. Um, but yes, that was a thrill. Joe Price says hypothetically, I'm okay with them. Not sure how well I'd do in real life up that high with only a zombie chain, pleasing purple plates of pleasure. I'm so sorry. Uh, I've forgotten her name. Uh, Pandora, thank you. And a prodder for safety. Mm. Well, yes, yes. Ah, now, Professor, let go. It turns out there is one more correction to make. If you remember back to when you were adding the chain, you had a moment where you couldn't tell if the chain was meant to go below or above a horizontal strut. The answer is neither. I doubt Lego will ever allow a design where the chain rubs against a static uh, piece. Thankfully, the correction isn't too bad, and hopefully uh, the following helps. Please ignore the yellow circle that is from the instructions. I've circled two areas in green. The first, labelled with the digit 1, is where the strut currently is. The second is where it's meant to be. Once corrected, the mechanism will hopefully be a little quieter. Look, he, look a super helpful, uh, super helpful instruction there from Professor Lego. Um, it isn't whisper quiet, and actually I kind of like the noise it's meant to make. It's quite realistic to the clattering of a real roller coaster. The strut in question, say below, was one of four made near the end of bag four. You had placed three correctly, but connected the last one in your own time. Unfortunately, it wasn't the correct location, and none of us picked up on it during the bag five video. Uh, you will be very pleased to know, Professor Lego, that I have uh, I've changed it, I've fixed it, uh, and... Uh, there's nothing more to worry about. By the way, Professor Lego, uh, wait till you see the colour of the Duda uh, brick separator that came with this kit. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh special one. It's a special one. Oh, oh, oh. What a Duda brick separator. Isn't it magnificent? Love it. Giving it a, I'm giving it a round of applause. I love it so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Thank you. Um, Kiffed old bird. I know which set I'll be getting next. Oh no. <laughs> where? What is that? An actual set? What? Where? What is that, Kitford? Tell me, please. I can see it's not. Uh, it says. L Largo or something. Um, Grumpy Mark, I liked the Excelsior build. <gasps> oh, Grumpy Mark, that that might land you in the in 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 the Blair hole. Uh, I wow. Whew. That might land you in the Blair hole. I'm I'm worried for you, but my goodness, your boldness is quite something to behold. Um, by the way, before I proceed, a uh, new part that we've never had before, never had one of those. That's a heck of a hole. Hoi, hoi. What's that going in there? Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, then he says, uh, squiggy breaks, squiggy breaks. Oh, come on then. Alright, go on. Yeah, I know you didn't get top billing on the Graham Triggs film. Well, I don't care if you've complained to your agent. 
well, no, I'm sorry, you had your chance to cut that string and you got into a fight with Sorry Sigourney Weaver, didn't you? Well, I don't, I don't care if it was her fault. Well, what had you been saying to her before? Oh, you've been, you've been lording it over her, going, oh, well, I'm going to be cutting the string at the roller coaster. Is that, is that what happened, um, Dawn Frenchy? No, 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 That's it. Off you go. Go on, go on. No. Stop! Don't throw yourself on the floor like a toddler. No, you can't go on the pedestal. No, no. potty mouth. Honestly. Kath Pearson, uh, the fact that none of us even attempted a sneaky squeaky. Oh, that's nice. Sneaky squeaky. That's nice. That's nice. A sneaky squeaky uh, during... Uh, in club business for the last two videos shows the scale of our trauma. I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, what an unexpected honour to be able to conduct the opening ceremony of the roller coaster. Yes, I thought you'd enjoy it. You know what, little Sue? You blinking deserved it. You deserved that. And I'm very glad that, that you got to have the uh, the honour of doing it. Oh, thank, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It means a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, you you put the hours in and uh, you deserved it. And also, uh, to be honest, you had scissors. I was holding um, my breath as you put those small white corner tiles on the roller coaster cars, hoping the whole thing didn't collapse. Scream, 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 scream. I also held my breath whilst you carried the coaster indoors. Lovely, lovely job. And ooh, 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 ooh. Enough for work day out, amazing. <laughs> also, goodness, that thing doesn't half fly. Woo wee, wee, wee. Someone's excited. Professor Lego, you did seem to get better with the mechanism, uh, but just to clarify, the lever you can push pull, labelled one. Uh, uh, you should only need to apply force until it clicks into place. When it is pulled out, it first carries, it first acts as a brake, uh, stopping the cars at the platform. Yep, yep. It should also propel the cars forward when you wind the handle labelled two. Uh, in in the diagram, try to rotate the second handle quite rapidly. And see if that helps push the cars around the corner. When lever one is pushed in, there is no brake, and the roller coaster should run continuously. It makes more sense when used with the battery pack and motor. If you're still having trouble, please do let us know. And Katie Hall says, uh, and both sets of cars can go right, so six minis can go round and round without stopping until the batteries die. Imagine that at a party. Absolutely. Hmm. Ruth Hayes. Wee! That was thrilling. Well done, little Sue, for stepping into the breach at the opening ceremony. Hope Gidford makes a speedy recovery. Thoughts, etc. Hmm. Yeah, it w was bad what happened to Gidford. Uh, well, that was a very tense ending, Professor Lego. Very happy it ended without incident. Phew! Uh, let me guess, Gidford Obert, you were resisting the roller coaster rules, were you? You just can't help yourself, and look where it got you! <laughs> <laughs> well, Faye, well done. I really enjoyed that build. Congratulations on the big carrying. It was a watch through, my, through the gaps in my fingers moment. Ooh, alert, alert. We have a, a piece we've never had before. Ooh, look at this. Oh no, that's the wrong one. It's this for a new piece. It's this for a new piece. Look. Nice colour too. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Sort of looks like water, does it not? I've still got uh, club business to go. Can you even believe how much club business there is today? Uh, Bev Bratton, Bev Bratton, you really do need, you need to tell me what you look like so I can make a minifigure of you. Um, I wonder how many times Minnie Emma, Minnie Georgie and Minnie Perks have ridden the roller coaster since you carried it into the house. Well, no, we're all here. We're all here. 
Um, I've, I've put the roller coaster minifigs uh, in the uh, minifig cars. Tanya now might need to find out where Jackie Swan gets her batteries from. She's perhaps got a wholesaler somewhere. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> then everyone just enjoys the car. I've got, I've got to rattle through club business now. Uh, Katie Hall, well done, Emma. That was amazing. All it needs now is some carnival music and some Christmas lights, fairy lights, and a scary name. What are you going to name it? Ooh. Oh, that's a good point. Mmm. We didn't name the roller coaster. Oh, that feels immediately like a Professor Lego. S send your uh, send your uh, suggestions for the name of the roller coaster, please. Um. To Professor Lego and we'll have a Professor Lego poll. This looks like a fountain. Does it not? Look, another piece we've never had before. Uh, smaller version thereof. Nice. Uh, Jackie Swan uh, said, stop moving it over the edge of the table. I, I knew, I knew, I knew, <laughs> I knew you would be uh, in pieces, Jackie Swan. Um, she just, geez, it's getting perilously near to the edge of the Lego table. <laughs> uh, Pink Lady, wee, that was exhilarating. Apologies for almost destroying the coaster, typical me, stopping at inopportune moments to point out items of architectural interest. Congratulations, Emma, it is a thing of joy and beauty. I'm going to employ Emma's removals next time I move house. Expertly done. Uh, Rosie Lee says, what a great finish to an eventful build. It was fun seeing all the Afferwack minifigures enjoying their ride. Poor Kitford O'Bert. Question, was he being a rebel or was it operator negligence? I think an adjudication is required. Well, it has been. I'm, I'm very much in the Blair hole. Grumpy Mark, I'm glad you decided to let us watch you connect to those links rather than time lapse it. The article, the audible clicks as you connected them were marvelous. Yeah, they were. They was good, wasn't it? A video where little Sue counts up to 10,000 would amuse me greatly. <laughs> Come on, seriously? Seriously? Don't make me do it. <laughs> Serious? Don't make me do it. You want me to... Oh, no. Well, that will have to be another day. I'm not doing it now. Uh, Rosie Lee uh, says, uh, definitely up for Afterworks Go Large at Legoland trip. Yeah, everybody is. And that concludes Club Business. Right then. Let's get this bag finished. There's not much to go, actually. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, I didn't see that coming, and now I love it. I mean, I loved it already, but that's good. That's a lovely little feature. Oh, this is going to be tremendous. Lovely. Um,
that's a shame that's an ugly grey bit there we could have made that a nicer colour don't you think By the way, a little blackbird, I don't know if you heard a little fluttering earlier, but a little blackbird was trying to come in. I just did that. I love these, I call these teeth, but they generally sort of signify a bit of snow or something, or ice, I find. I wonder if it is meant to be snow. Yeah. Oh yes, look, it must be icicles. There we are, that's it, that's uh, that's bag one, I'll just come out a little bit. So we've got that, and we've got these two little tables. I'm not entirely sure where those two little tables go. They don't, I'm just, just double checking. No, they don't go on. Okay, so we've just got those two little tables, and this thing, this marvellous, oh no, don't say it doesn't go round now. Oh no, it does. Oh, the whole thing goes round, look. lovely all right well there we go that was bag one and i'll see you tomorrow for bag two bye bye